Hello, lovely to be with you again. So we're going to go on a bit of a journey for our assembly today. So why don't you come with me? We'll see what we can find. So during half term, this February half term, we've had a really special time in church. I wonder if you know what that special time has been. There's a bit of a clue on my forehead. There's a cross made of ash on my forehead. And that's because the special time that we've had in church this half term has been Ash Wednesday. Ash Wednesday is a really important day for Christians. It's a day that marks the beginning of Lent. And Lent is our getting ready time for Easter. So because of COVID and we're not allowed to have a big service like we usually would for Ash Wednesday, instead, we've got here some ash and some lollipop sticks and people are welcome to put some ash onto their forehead as a sign of the beginning of Lent. So what is Lent all about then and how do we mark it? Well some people give things up for Lent. Some people give up chocolate or some grown-ups give up alcohol or some children might give up computer games or time on screens, maybe. And some people take things up for Lent. They use Lent as an opportunity to take up some good habits, maybe deciding that they're going to read their Bible every single day, or maybe deciding that they're going to read some books to find out more about prayer or spend some time praying every day. So some people take things up for Lent, and some people give things up for Lent. I wonder if you've thought about what you're going to do for Lent this year. So I've come outside now, out into the wind and the rain, into St Mary's churchyard. You can see the church there behind me. Because one of the things that you might want to think about doing during Lent is exploring the prayer stations that we're going to have in St Mary's churchyard this year. So here you can see the first of the prayer stations across and on it there is a label with some suggestions about how you might use the cross to pray. And if you're very clever, further down the label there are some QR codes. So there's an opportunity to find out more about the theme of each week from the QR codes. The theme of this first week is forgiveness. And each week a new prayer station will appear in the churchyard. So that could be a really interesting thing that you could do for Lent this year, exploring the prayer stations in St Mary's Church. But of course the heart of Lent isn't actually about giving things up or taking things up. It's about finding ways of coming close to God, coming close to Jesus. And so taking up things like praying every day or reading the Bible every day are good ways of coming closer to God. And giving things up is a good way of giving up things that get in the way of our relationship with God. Perhaps things that distract us from being Christians, things that actually aren't very good for us. So we're back now here in the vicarage. I hope you've enjoyed finding out about Ash Wednesday and about Lent for our assembly today. So let's have a bit of quiet time when perhaps you might think about the things that you've learnt today about Ash Wednesday and about Lent. Perhaps you might want to think about how you're going to mark Lent this year. So let's have a moment of quiet. So I'm going to say a prayer now. And if you want to make it your prayer, you're welcome to say Amen at the end. Dear God, thank you for Lent. Thank you for this special time of getting ready for Easter. 
Help us, Lord, to use this time to come closer to you, to come closer to Jesus. Amen. Lovely to be with you today. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.